This winter has been a really wet one, and there's word that this spring will also bring a lot of rain with it. It's limited the time that we can be out taking care of the gardens, and being able to enjoy the outdoor lifestyle that we've grown to love since we moved away from the city. The grass and the weeds love it, and in areas they've just run wild without our presence to cut down or pull out. But the winter has now officially come to a close, and with that the days are getting longer and the plants know that the warmer months are on their way. Yesterday there was sun and there was rain, beauty in the mundane. Today we are tackling something that we have been putting on the back burner for quite some time. We've known that this was an issue since pretty much we got here, but uh, it's the right time of year now to take care of it. And that is... Sooty mold. Sooty mold on the lemon tree. So, ta -da! the lemon tree has been super productive the entire time we've been here, but we have to clean off sooty mold all the time on it. So the sooty mold uh, gets all over the leaves, like you can see here and it stops the photosynthesis. Photosynthesis? It is not a lie! It's called photosynthesis! Stops the photosynthesis of, for happening very well. Um, the tree seems to be surviving really well regardless, but it doesn't look very good and no, it can't be healthy for it. It just looks a bit uggo, so we don't want an uggo tree. No offense tree, you're beautiful, but. So it's right at the start of spring now, thank God. The exciting mm. time. Yeah, yeah, officially spring. Woo! Woo, woo. <clears throat> spring break! Yeah! So we've got to take off all the lemons and then we've got to cut it back much like how you do the roses mm. with allowing the yep, wine so. glass shape. Yep. So that the airflow can get in through all of the branches and it apparently helps, you know, get rid of the environment that the mold likes to grow in. So. And then we finish up with a spray of white oil. That was what it was called. Right? Yeah, yeah, it's white oil. So that is what we've been told is the right thing to do. So we'll give it a crack and find out. Basically, sooty mold is pretty much as the name implies. It's a layer of black soot over the leaves and branches, and is actually caused by sap sucking insects like aphids, scale, whitefly, mealybugs, and mites. These insects excute a sugary substance called honeydew, which is what the sooty mold grows off. Ants will also feed on the honeydew, so it's common to see ants and sooty mold together on plants. And this lemon tree has a legion of ant fans that love it very, very much. What are you doing now? Dust wiping my leaves. <laughs> this is this is such a big task. I don't think I don't think I'm going to do all of them. <laughs> I think we'll probably just do some. Just do all the low hanging, low hanging leaves. <laughs> so I think that it looks like the top branches actually aren't too bad with the the sooty mold because whether or not it's because they get more sun or like the airflow is better up the top but it seems like it's kind of only really the low hanging branches that are the problem. The so. rain probably helps wash them off as well I reckon. Maybe. It took so long to get all the lemons off the tree. We knew there was a lot on there but there was so many more than we imagined. We ended up with three buckets of lemons that'll be good to use, and then we got rid of another three buckets worth that were either damaged, undersized, or just generally not able to be used. While Betty's out there giving the leaves a wipe down, I've come in and I'm gonna make a start on setting up for the spray. So, we have this pressure sprayer, just a five litre unit uh, that we just got from the local garden supply store. It's, it's nothing exciting. I think you can get these from real cheapy shops, so and your bunnings and all that sort of stuff so nothing exciting there and then we picked up what we were recommended from the garden supplies guy which is this white oil so there we go it's the white oil so 
This uh, reckons that you mix it in. It's got on the back directions of use and it's saying for citrus trees, 10 mil per liter of water. So if that's 10, uh, five liters, then we're looking at 50 mil of this that we put in with the water. So I'll mix that together and we'll give it a good old spray. It was about to work. I don't know. We shouldn't have to do this. There's got to be something better. In the meantime, <laughs> surely not. It's not a two man team. This can't be the way. We have success. Betty opened this up, and the o ring inside wasn't creating a good enough seal because it was a bit dodged, but she's flipped it around and really made it tight um, and it seems to be doing the trick now which is great. It's probably not perfect because the o-ring still is a bit shit but it's definitely working a lot better than it was before. Pump it. Pump it. Well that's about it for this task. We'll probably have to give it another go over with the white oil again soon but we think we're well on the way to having a much healthier tree going forward. Maiden voyage of the fruit pickerer. <laughs> it shot off like a rocket. Oh, another one flinged over there. <laughs>